I'm Kevin Harned with Secrets of Louisville Chefs from Bourbon Barrel Foods and Kitchen Studio. And we're about to take your taste buds on a trip to France. Our special guest on the show today is Chef Eduardo Bacci from Brasserie Provence on Firstborn. He's preparing authentic French food and revealing the secrets so you can do it at home. An easy goat cheese and tomato tart, a staple of any French brasserie, plus duck breast and artichokes, and mussels like they do them in the south of France. It's Secrets of Louisville Chefs in front of a live studio audience, and it starts right now. Welcome to Kitchen Studio at Bourbon Barrel Foods. Hi everybody, I'm Kevin Harnett and this is Secrets of Louisville Chef, the show that takes you behind the scenes so you can make the same great food from some of Louisville's best chefs in the comfort of your own home. And today on the show, now we're excited to have Eduardo Bacci from Brasserie Provence. The restaurant is the latest venture of Guy Genou, formerly of the Brown Hotel. And by opening it, he's brought the south of France to North Hurstbourn. Brasserie Provence is an authentic brasserie of all measures. And we're proud to have the executive chef with us today. Here now, my co-host, Tim Laird. Hello, Kevin. Look at this crowd wow. we've got here. We have a great audience out there. They're, well, listen, they're it, all excited. You know what? Yeah, I know, and I know why they're excited, Kevin, because we're going to France, and they're all excited about that. <laughs> they're and, buckled uh, in. They're like, "I'm ready to ready go. to go. Let's go. Take us there." Anyway, it, wonderful, wonderful restaurant. It's the I'll best combination. What. We've got perhaps the best audience. I mean, our audiences are always good, but this one is fired up. So we love this a audience. great audience and a great chef. Oh, we've got it all now. And some fantastic food that I, we already have cooking. I here. love it. I can't I'm wait. I'm going to step so, out of the way. All right, and watch. we're heading to France. Hello, chef. How are you? Yeah. Good to see you, Thanks, Eduardo. Man. Thanks for having oh, me I'm today. Sorry. I'm excited. Now, uh, listen, uh, you've got a great restaurant, a lot of classic French cuisine that's available classic. there. Wonderful wine selections. Yes. And also cocktails as well. I've been Quite to the bar, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's a full bar service, wine, everything else, and, and a really a, a diverse group of uh, foods. What are you going to show for us today? Today we're just going to start with a little tomato tart, goat cheese, a little basil, fresh, which is fresh. a cl classic French. It's a classic, uh huh. Just using you know the basic ingredients that you can find in local markets in southern France. So we have a little uh, onions, thyme, okay. garlic, bay leaf, and celery. A little white wine. This is going to reduce for a little while. Usually reduce by half. And it this is going to be great. this is the beginning of the uh, sauce. Okay. For the mussels, we have a little cream. I tell you, mussels are very popular in France as well, right? It's they are. Kind of a classic, and I love it. I mean, people really don't realize how easy it is to uh, prepare, but especially on a beautiful sauce it's like that. It's actually really easy. You know, the mussels really only take a few minutes to uh, cook. We do Maginier style, which is a sailor style. That's what it really translates to. Uh, but, you know, there's so many other recipes that you can follow, but this is one of the classic ones from southern France, so we like it a lot. Oh. I like it a lot. Do we have muscle fans in the audience? Yeah. Yeah. They're hungry, chef. They're hungry. They're... So we're going to let this reduce a little. We can okay. go ahead and look at the little tarts. This is just a savory tart. You can probably find these anywhere around town if you don't want to spend the time to actually make that yourself. We uh, part baked it just the way it's going to take a little less time to cook them. We have, this is, ends up being more or less one whole tomato that's been sliced. In little wedges. And then what kind of cheese do you have on top? This of your is goat chef? goat cheese. Oh, just a uh, fresh, soft goat cheese. Which is good. You get a little tart in there with a little the, tart, a little uh, sweetness of the, the tomato. And you can probably fit about a whole tomato. I usually just fill it up to fill up the whole tart. Looks good. Looks great. Looks Absolutely. nice. Okay, let's turn this down a little bit because we are about there. This we want to reduce this until it's a little thicker. You can see how thick it's getting right now, it's, and everything else, and all those onions are softening up in there. We're gonna, just the smell of that. Oh, the, it's gonna be delicious. The tarragon is. Uh, it's a little thyme. Okay. Or thyme. Thyme tarragon. You know, that's another thyme. good, <laughs> good French ingredient. So we have the tart. This is really as simple as it gets because we're ready to put this in the oven. Let's say I have the oven on what 475, five seven minutes. Done. Quick and easy. Yeah. Done. So melt the cheese a little bit. Melt the cheese, the give it a little color, tomatoes. soften up the tomatoes, and that is it. The sauce is about there. We have this nice little pan. I like to use non-stick just because it's a lot easier to clean. <laughs> so here's the mussels. These are the mussels. These are uh, Prince Edward Island Canadian mussels. Very nice, uh, fresh, 
very easy to prepare these as well. When they come in, you know, they come in big old bags. Right. They have the little beer. You just want to take that off, scrub them a little bit, cold water, done. This is about a pound of mussels. We do that as a, the restaurant as an entree, more than sufficient. Uh, what else can you say? They're good. They are delicious. They are delicious. Uh, a little white wine. A little dry white wine. Another secret to great uh, French uh, cooking: a lot of wine goes in. I would not use, you know, pan. the basic box wine. No. You, no. you know, you want to use good something because at home, easy to cook, you yeah. drink. You want to drink? That's what I do. I, I, absolutely. So, <laughs> see, that's another secret about doing this at home. You can have a glass while the you and the mussels wow. get wine. <laughs> so the mussels go in. So we have the wine, the mussels. We're gonna cover these up, let them steam three, four minutes. You know, the restaurants, we have these big ranges that have many, many BTUs. This may take a little longer for little them longer to open up. Them. Let's say five, six minutes. Really easy to tell. Okay. Open up, look, if they start to open up, you're done. They will tell you when they're done. That's Yes. We have the chinois. You can just use a regular strainer now that's, at home. That's this is one of the... That's a big chinois. <laughs> is that what that is? That is. Yeah. Face the term, strainer. Oh, look at them. They're all opening up. They are all wow. on their way. Happy, happy. Happy, happy guys. See, there's a one or two. We'll just discard. Maybe we'll just or give we them get, another little second. Or we get to Kevin. Don't tell me. Hungry? <laughs> you may not make it through the show. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first show I'm not making it through. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, OK. You wondered where that was coming into play. I know. Didn't you? I was going to say, what are we going to do with the uh, <laughs> chinois? Le chinois. Le chinois. <laughs> so we're going to put the pan back on top. All right. Give it a little shake. Let that sauce. Make sure that's going to be all nicely there. covered while oh. we check on our lovely little tart. Oh, yeah. I forgot about it. They're way on their way. Oh, magic. I have one right here. Okay. The way we present, a little basil oil. Okay. Basil oil. That's so all. I'm, I'm guessing it's basil and oil. That is it. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, you blanch your, uh, you blanch your basil real fast and then you puree. It. I mean, it's a simple process. And, but and, and basil and tomatoes go great together. They're like a nice little combination. It's perfect. And so I agree. And the oil and look at, and I love how the, the cheese is melted there. It has a little there. color. Looks great. We're going to turn this off because I bet these guys are there. Okay. So we're going to drizzle just a little extra. Beautiful. This is just fresh basil that's been cut into thinner strips. Mm. A little chiffonade, a little chiffonade. sprinkle, that's, sprinkle, sprinkle. It's cut into small chiffonade. strips. Chiffonade. Look Maybe ahead. we can add just a little bit more for Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Color, taste. Color, nice wow. and vibrant. That looks great, that's Chef. That. Awesome. Simple, simple tart. Okay, we have our nice little mussels. So again, we can look through. Fast and quick seems like it actually it all opened up. Wow, that's great. And you said that's about Ooh. a pound, so it's this a, is about it's a, a nice entree size. I believe it should be more than sufficient for, you know. Well, what what you can do size. is come in and have this as an appetizer and share it with your guests that come you in. You definitely can. You know, we also offer a half, half size, half a pound for an appetizer. These usually come out with a French fries. Great. Which we cook in duck fat. Oh, oh yeah. now there's the secret. I told you How about that's the secret. I, I mean, it really duck makes bad French big. fries. That's why you want to go to. Oh, they're incredible. That makes that big of a difference, I have to say. Just gives them nice crispiness. Wow, those look great. Absolutely fabulous. And you know what's great about you want the sauce in there because at the end you take your bread and you soak it your all bread. up. You know, you can oh, use a spoon, that's drizzle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We have a little bit of parsley, or just fresh, like fresh parsley. Bowl. I do, yeah. <laughs> it's not quite appropriate. I guess. Wow, Chef, How that looks that? absolutely <laughs> fabulous. Wow, and that is our little mussels and tart. I sure would be delicious together. Very good. All right, that looks fantastic. You know, coming up next, don't go away. We've got more French cooking secrets for you from the chef at Brasserie Provence, plus Tim Laird with the secrets to a classic European cocktail that's taken on a taste of Kentucky. You're watching Secrets of Louisville Chefs, and we'll be right back.
Welcome back to Secrets of Louisville Chefs here at Bourbon Barrel Foods and Kitchen Studio. I'm Kevin Harnett, and we are glad you're watching today. Our guest is Brasserie Provence chef Eduardo Bacci, and he's revealed his secrets to some fantastic mussels and the wonderful tart. Cheryl Lynn is here. Nice to see you. You're one of our great studio audience members. You're, you're in good company today. They're all jealous now, though, because you were the first to step up here and take a taste. Everybody's going to have a chance, so just hang in there. But Sherry Lynn <laughs> is the uh, one that has uh, the chance to uh, taste the mussels first here on the show. First of all, you know, we pride ourselves in giving back to our community, and today uh, you stand up here representing a great organization. It was a raffle for uh, the women's exhibit down with PNC Bank and Business First. Yes. We're glad you are great supporters of that. We try to jump in and help out the community when we can, so thank you for doing the same. Uh, take a taste. We want to see how Chef did with the mussels. If you've been to Brasserie Provence, you know they're cooking. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's good. Th thumbs up. Uh, you take all the seasonings. You can? Yeah, yes, definitely. You've got all of our mouths watering right now. <laughs> Sherry Lynn, enjoy that. You. you bet. She's going to walk back and probably get attacked by the rest of the studio <laughs> audience there as she takes the plate. Oh, those look great, <laughs> Tim, Kevin. I'll tell you what, oh, fantastic. They opened up nicely. They smell delicious. I can't wait to take a taste. Before we move back into the cooking with Chef, you have a great cocktail yourself. Inspired, it's the Negroni, inspired by what? Did James Bond actually order this James drink? Bond, you know, the shaken versus stirred, but he actually, in a couple of movies, Thunderball being one of them, ordered a classic Negroni, and it really is uh, kind of a classic French uh, drink as well. Uh, traditionally, it's made with equal parts of gin, uh, sweet vermouth, and Campari. Since we're in the bluegrass, skip the gin. I'm going to put a little Old Forester bourbon in it. Why so. not? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. So, anyway. You put that in everything, don't you? I mean, I like, oh, yeah, I mean, everything. That. Even, even <laughs> me, just straight. <laughs> it's, it's great. Anyway, all right, I'm going to make this up. Shake with ice, equal parts. Okay. Old Forester goes in first. Boom. And again, like I said, on your uh, classic cocktail menu, this is one of those. And, uh, and then a little bit of Campari, which is kind of a bitters, can be an aperitif or a digestive. And then uh, I, I'm using some French vermouth today, Noe Prat. So uh, uh, the Noe goes in, equal parts, one, one, one. Boom. I give this a quick shake, very easy. This is one of the wonderful drinks. I just love um, the Negronis. And I tried it with bourbon, and I thought, wow, this is delicious. <laughs> and then finally, as a garnish, I want to use a little orange peel. And what I do is I peel this over the glass because all the zest is what you want from the peel. So just get that and then give it a good squeeze right on top. See all that orange zest go in. Boom. There's my garnish. Chef, cheers to you. And uh, the you. bluegrass Negroni. Here it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, the... Delicious. Delicious. I love that. You, you know what it tastes like? like? Another. Another. <laughs> Every show. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And anyway. now I'm left to do the cooking. Uh, it's not going to be as, as yeah. fun as you all thought. <laughs> oh. That's really good. Uh, thank you, Chef. I, I, I'm a chef complimenting our content. That's okay. great. Well, that's, that's yours to enjoy, Chef Tim. Thank you. But, but for the rest of us, we're going to enjoy what you're preparing next, and that happens to be? This is going to be the duck. We have a little sauce where we'll go with uh, Pichelin olives. We're going to talk about those here in a second. Oh, wow. So we're going to take care of the artichokes. These are fancy whole artichoke hearts. I would go with that for the home cook a little easier. You don't have to sit there and clean them because we did this a little earlier. It's These are the fresh ones. That, it is a lot of work. We have, uh, yeah, here we have the fresh ones. You know, this is what the final product should be. So actually, while, while the pan warms up, we can also do the lentils. Lentils already cooked off, blanched off. The uh, water, lentils, bay leaf, probably about half hour to 45 minutes. Very we want good. these guys to be al dente still, so in that way they'll still have a little crunch because you're gonna go back, toss them, toss them again to reheat them up. Lentils. We can go ahead and do that, actually, because that's going to take no time. That's great. I love lentils and uh, lentil soup, but just on their own. And, and on their own. Ingredient. I think they're just so under underused. They are. Well, you know, they're delicious. Now, here's something that's not underused. Underused. A little bacon. We have uh, turmeric, cumin, and coriander seed. Okay. Just enough to taste. You know, we can also do some salt and pepper. And there's those uh, artichokes. These are the artichokes. The, the hearts. I mean, These are say. the hearts that we have cleaned. Previously, just to save us a little time, we're going to add these guys as such. 
You know, the key to this, without making a mess, the key to this is to give them color. They need to be very nice caramelized. Okay. So that's what's going to happen they in the hot pan and we'll let them sit. Maybe we'll add just a touch more oil. We have the salt and pepper. 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 <laughs> very nice. This is actually what the final product is so going to be. So here it is over here. That's the final uh, once it, and it, you're right. It does have that beautiful color on there. Nice little color. The lentils uh, are doing good. We can add a little tomato paste. That's more for color. Tomato. Okay. In France, you know, this is the basic value glue recipe. We have our stuff sauteing. We're going to add a little bit of wine. Of course. Wow, that's, I mean, I mean, you can just smell that, okay? Can you guys smell that at all? Are you getting some of that uh, goodness over there? Woo! Wow. The idea was to get them nicely caramelized, but due to time constraint. But we've got them right we over there. We are going to add the tomatoes. I've kind of gotten swept away in all of this. I forgot that we actually have duck coming into it. You know, this is oh, like yeah, a meal on its own. Oh, I know. Well. It is a meal on its own. I have duck, too. We're going to talk about the duck a little bit, uh, Chef. Tell Let's us about, about this. Duck. It's uh, basic duck breast. This is, I don't know, I would say maybe a pound, you know? That's it. And it that's, looks that's like a you, good size. And you scored the, uh, score, the front, I saw that. So that's the first thing bit. you do. Again, here's uh, where the fat is. The fat and that, is. That's, and you just that. scored that little uh, little cubes, but you go down just to the fat, not to the, the, the fat. The duck so we can itself. render the fat as we cook. So that goes fat side down fat first? Fat side down first. We have another little sprinkle, sprinkle. You know, as you put the salt and pepper on that, Chef, we're going to take a quick break as the duck sears during the commercial break. But when we come back, we're going to put it all together so you can see how it turns out. You're watching Secrets of Louisville Chef. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Kitchen Studio here at Bourbon Barrel Foods in the heart of Butchertown. I'm Kevin Harned. You're watching Secrets of Louisville Chefs. Uh, you, if you've been watching throughout the last 20 minutes or so, you've seen Chef Eduardo Bacci really bring to life some great French cooking. And during the commercial break, you've not missed a thing. But we have seared the duck. We've seared the duck, <laughs> Kevin. Yes, it's seared nicely. It by the way, great. Chef had the hot pan, a little bit of oil. It went down uh, fat first after mm -hmm. you scored it. And uh, then flip it over for the other another side. few minutes. Yeah, yeah, it takes no time. Adding yeah. only salt really. and pepper, right? Salt and pepper, that's it. Once it's done, we're going to throw it in the oven. And you know, it really depends on how you like your duck. I would say you should eat your duck medium rare. Medium rare. I, I, Any more than that, don't, over, don't overcook it. That's, do that's, not that's a crime with a duck. beautiful it's duck It's a breast. crime. Exactly. We have a little hard chocolate butter good going. This we are almost great. ready. Oh, my gosh. And tell me about your sauce, uh, Chef. This is a duck-based sauce. Uh, we use duck bones, you know, the whole process, oh, so, you so actually, on and uh, so forth. We make the stock, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, and, and this is, I'll tell you, that's the great, uh, the other thing about your sauces and everything else. It truly is uh, a French-style, true recipe. Oh, just it is, all uh, full of flavor. You know, you make your basic stock and then you reduce, reduce. That's another long story on making stocks. But uh, we you started have this out with guy. 40 gallons and you're down to like a yes. quart. Right. Yes. <laughs> stocks and bonds. It's, it's an involved process. <laughs> but, you know, it's the final product. It's well worth it. Tell me about the olives. Fischerlin olives. These are southern France olives. They're actually cultivated throughout the Mediterranean, uh, okay. northern Africa, even Italy. We have these. Uh, just basic olives. Delicious. Here, olive olive. Great. I'm going to have an olive. Mmm. Here, Kevin. You like them? Mmm. Wow. That's a lot of flavor. Here we got the sauce going, the olives on okay. there. There's so, a beautiful duck breast. Oh my God, that's good looking. <clears throat> so you're cutting it on the bias. Oh, the that's bias. a beautiful color. That's what I love. Like Just I said, don't little, overcook your duck. Just a little bit on the rare side, but that's how I like mine. I love it that way. I'm going to have to use my hands just to make it easier for me. Sharp knife really Sharp helps. Knife, chef's hands, boom. It's perfect. Look at that. Oh, okay, that's oh, a little oh, duck. Oh. We have this nice little plate, uh, plate up. In there now. A little sauce. We have the little, this little guy. <laughs> Look at that little. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, just all the juices and the that. sauces are contained. Here, let me get my one egg in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love cast iron. I think it just looks so nice on the plate. It does. You know, it, it makes it, it nice. It does. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Lovely, lovely lentils. Don't forget bacon. our lentils. Bacon also. And bacon. The bacon 
It's uh, smoked. This is actually pepper bacon that we used. Okay. From Lucky's. We shopped yesterday. And I'll take bacon any way you, uh, you oh, can yes. get it. I will as well. Oh, look at that. Mm. Tell you, those olives are good. Did you like the olives? You olive? want another one, Tim? Uh, I will here in a minute. They're delicious. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but this is our lovely little dish. Wow. Maybe we can give it. Wow. A sprig of thyme or two just for, you know, looks, decoration. Wow. Wow. That looks great. Chef, awesome. Oh, my gosh. Again, Chef, thank you so much. Thank you great so much. job, buddy. Thank you. Oh. Go down and see uh, Guy, see Chef, have a great time, and tour France. Through your taste bud. <laughs> it's Take it easy, on, to, easy to find. It's right on South Hurstmore in there. And if you have a chance, to, uh, swing on down and enjoy the flavors. We appreciate you watching today. We appreciate our audience for being here as well. They've had a lot of fun, and we hope you have too. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, Cisco Universal Linens, the folks here at Bourbon Barrel Foods. We thank you for watching. For Tim Laird, and on behalf of our entire staff at B&B Productions, I'm Kevin Harned. We'll see you next time on Secrets of Global Chefs. Oh, yeah, yeah.